um, quick video on. Uh, so I'll do a quick video just while I'm waiting for the last little bit of this. Um, what do you call it? A raspberry pie. To um, and those that haven't seen a, a raspberry pie, hope I don't disconnect it. But it um, sort of looks like. Um, can you see it? Sort of looks like this. Um, which is a little computer, and it's just loading, plugged into the keyboard, and plugged into the mouse, and power cord, and the TV. So I'll just can't let that carry on doing its thing. But what I wanted to show you was this little thing over here, which is my quadcopter. And what's unique about my quadcopter is it's got a um, it's got two little arms at the front and at the back and so you can lie your you can actually lie the the little back aerial down flat if you want like a scorpion or a stingray and then you can pop it up there but these have saved me twice um, and that's a recent release on the oh, well, there's a radio in the background. The thing that our releases today is so, so what happened is this saved me twice when the um, when this was flying, um, it flew up, and as it flew along, um, I was able to look underneath and tell if it was this way or this way. So it minimised um, in a distance what direction it was, and what that meant that I was able to do was um, go forward or back to get orientation because the times that I've crashed or lost the quadcopter has been I've flown too far away and the quadcopter has um, been unable to be recognized which way it is and by the time that starts happening you lose direction but by having these little arms out the front and the back it has saved me and I've flown for days on end without breaking any blades doing everything everyone else does because when it lands it either hits the back or hits the front and lands and it somehow seems to protect the blades so my advice is to get two more arms I just use cable ties and I put them in here and I use that little uh, that little bumpy thing here to um, on both ends for a landing pad and it softens the, the landing as well it's, it's brilliant so these break off, I've broken a number of these um, these twist ties, cable ties, as that thing shears from one side or shears to the other. Now you recognize these, because that's broken, that was one of the crash landings that I had, and this one here was also broken and it was making the motor shudder. So I've actually made use of these two uh, in my quadcopter, and they're quite fun. The other thing that's quite good with the camera at the front, you actually get a reflection off this. So technically you could put it at the top and reflect and see what's happening on the ground as you're flying along. Um, so that's all flying as you're flying along. You can still see what's in front of you because it reflects off here and it shines forward. It reflects off here out of the camera and shines forward. So you get a forward view with a strip of mirror which I can show you at some stage. So there you have it. And um, this is now finished. Um, so... I think it's still working a little bit. So anyway, I just thought that would be a good video just to show you what's happening with the quadcopter. It's another windy day here in New Zealand, um, and so I'm just charging a battery to see if I can go out for a little bit of a fly. Lots of things have been happening down at the airfield. What do we got here? Is it installed successfully? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say okay, and see what comes up. Okay, you can see it in the background. So look at that, that's a pretty good shot with all the writing, it looks um, computerised coming out the back. So, so that's technology. So special shout out to XJet or Model RC Reviews. Um, it's, it's great having um, at the International Model Park here in Tokoraro, New Zealand, having Bruce Simpson, the patron. Uh, and I encourage all of you out there um, to send Bruce a link or subscribe to uh, XJet, uh, Modify New Zealand, and support uh, what's happening here in New Zealand. Uh, we're getting some good rules, it looks like, coming through uh, where we can fly 
uh, under trees um, in New Zealand, uh, not unlike America, which has been quite draconian about the drones uh, and saying no flying at all. Anyway, I won't waffle on, um, but if you have any questions, um, just give me a ring. And what should we choose here? Expand the file size, um, change the password. So we've got a few little things to do for the setup. Okay, so that's good. Good to see you again. And uh, just remember, this arm is a great little asset to the quadcopter. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Back to the bench, or in my case, back to the Raspberry Pi. This is a B plus.